Uh, this week in math, we are going to work on addition and subtraction. And I would like to talk to you about some strategies that you can use to solve your addition and subtraction problems or your addition and subtraction facts um, quickly and more fluently. When you get into second grade, you're going to be expected to know your addition and subtraction facts um, automatically using automaticity. That means that if I'm trying to solve seven plus seven, I do not have to use my fingers to count on and I do not have to use manipulatives. I simply know that seven plus seven is equal to 14. So these strategies that I'm gonna teach you will help you with that, okay? Before we get started, let's go over some vocabulary words. When we're adding, we have two numbers that are being added together. Both of these numbers are called add-ins. So this seven's an add-end and this seven's an add-end. And when you add an add-end plus an add-end, you're gonna get the sum. The sum shows is the how many in all. And in our first grade friends, we like to call this number Big Daddy because he's the big number, okay? So when we do two add-ins together, we are going to get the sum. Let's talk about some subtraction vocabulary. All right, so when I'm subtracting, remember our Big Daddy goes first. That Big Daddy is called the menu end. Okay, the menu end is the top number or the first number, and it's going to be the bigger number. When we're subtracting, we're taking away from the menu end. The number that we're taking away is called the subtrahend. The subtrahend is taken away from the menu end, which is the top number. And when we do that, we find the difference. Okay, the difference is the answer when we subtract. All right, so let's start talking about our strategies that we can use. Um, I want us to make sure that we all know our doubles facts, okay? So this week at home, I would like for you to create, either using note cards or pieces of paper that you cut out, I want you to create cards that look similar to this, called flashcards, okay? And I want you to make sure that you know your doubles automatically, okay? So these are our doubles. It's when a number adds with the same number. So seven plus seven is 14. Eight plus eight is 16. Four plus four is eight. 10 plus 10 is 20, and so on. So I want you to make sure that you know these automatically. You don't have to use your fingers, okay? Because if you know your doubles automatically, then you can figure out a lot more problems. Let me show you an example. I know that seven plus seven is equal to 14. Well, let's say that someone said, hey, what's seven plus eight? Well, that's not a double, so, but it's a near double, okay? So it's just one more. So if seven plus seven is 14, and eight is one more than one of those sevens, then I would know that seven plus eight is equal to 15. All right, it's equal to 15. And then I would then know that seven plus nine is equal to 16. So that could help me out. Knowing my doubles will help me know the near doubles, like a double plus one or a double plus two. You can also do this another way. You can say, okay, well I know six plus six is 12. If somebody said, hey, what's six plus five? Well, I know that six plus six is 12 and five is one less than six, so my answer is gonna be one less than 12. So that means that six plus five is equal to 11. And I can even go minus two on this. I could do six plus four. Well, look, here it was a six, here it was a five, here it was a four. Hmm, 12, 11, 10. Good job. So that is how we can use our doubles to help solve addition facts um, with automaticity. And that just means doing them really quick, okay? All right, the next thing is going to be all the different ways to make 10. Okay, so I have a few examples here, like one plus nine, equals 10. Seven plus three equals 10. Four plus six equals 10. Two plus eight equals 10. If I know 
all the ways to make 10, then it can help me with addition and subtraction. For example, I know that 8 plus 2 equals 10. Well, if somebody said, hey, what's 8 plus 3? Well, if 8 plus 2 equals 10, then 8 plus 3 is just one more than that. So that would have to be 11. Do you see how quick I can get that? And then I can even do 8 plus 4. I know that that's just one more. So if 8 plus 2 is 10, 8 plus 3 is 11, then 8 plus 4 is going to equal 12. And I can do it the same way if a number's smaller. If I know that 8 plus 2 is equal to 10, then if somebody said, hey, what's 8 plus 1? I would say, ooh, that's just one less than two. So the answer would be one less than 10, which would be nine, okay? So I also want you to make some flashcards for all of the numbers that equal 10, that have a sum of 10, okay? Alrighty, the next thing I wanna to talk to you about, or the last thing I wanna to talk to, to you about is multiples of 10 when they're added with a one digit number. Um, we have been working on this in class a lot also, and so it's really important that you know these automatically and that you do not have to add them with your fingers. So we know that 10 plus 5 is 15, 10 plus 2 is 12, 10 plus 3 is 13, 10 plus 9 is 19, and so on, okay? If you know these multiples, I promise it's going to help you, okay? So let's look at 10 plus 6. If I have 10 plus 6, Six, I know that equals 16. If somebody said, hey, what's 11 plus six? 11 plus six, well 11 is just one more than 10, then my sum is just gonna be one more than 16, so that would make it 17, okay? And it can go the opposite way. If I have 10 plus six, I know that it's going to be 16. Well, someone said, hey, what's nine plus six? Hmm. Well, I know 10 plus 6 is 16. 9 is 1 less than 10, so my answer is going to be 1 less than 16, so that would make it 15, okay? So your challenge for this week is I want you to, either on a piece of paper, cut out um, to make some note cards, and this week I want you to focus on doing your doubles, your making 10s, so your add-ins that would make a sum of 10, and then your multiples of 10 with a one-digit number. Um, just a reminder, we do not do sums above 20, so make sure that you're paying attention to that. I don't want you guys to add together 40 plus 45. Um, I want you to really focus on becoming really strong and really fluent with these problems, and then as you have mastered these, then you can add in more cards. You can do your plus ones and your plus twos and your plus threes so that you can really become strong with those. And using these strategies is gonna really help you with that. Um, also in your packet this week, there are word problems, um, story problems. I know that story problems can be a little tricky for our first grade friends. So that's why I included them in here. We're also going to hit this again in our next packet, but I would encourage you to do one of these a day because it'll help you to become stronger with them so that you won't have any problems in second grade. Alrighty, friends, have a good week, and I will talk to you later. Bye.